This is a highlight of the Off Topical podcast. Listen for free to the whole episode at offtopical.net. All right. This is some scary, depressing crap, Raven. Thank you for sending this to me. Oh, you're welcome. You know, I, when I find something horrible, I have to share it with you so you can enjoy the horrible with me. Uh, yeah, you like to tear me down. Uh, China. Darn right. Chinese schools are forcing students to wear microchipped uniforms. Oh, my God. God, I tried to come up with a pun for this to lighten it, but I just couldn't because it was so miserable. <laughs> uh, you know, the thing about it is, it's like if you take away like all the problems with it, it it's it's kind of nice in a way because it makes sure the kids get to school. And if something were to happen to them, you know, you know where they are. You know where their jacket is. You don't know where they are. Yeah. No, no, no. It's 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 in the shirt, not the jacket. It's in the, the shirt? shirt. I thought it was in the shoulder of the jacket. I, oh, is it in the jacket? See, I thought, I thought it was it. in the shirt. I yeah. thought it. See, I thought it was in the shirt. But either way, you know, let's just assume best case scenario, it's in the shirt. Or best case scenario, Worst it doesn't case. exist at all. Um, you know, I, I could see some uses for it. But then we go to the real world where we all live and have to live. Yeah. And it's just like, Ooh. Ooh. everything about I, this is I'm not a and fan. Wrong. Yeah, it's creepy. So for those of you that don't know, you can check the show notes and you can read the Telegraph article on it. It's literally GPS built into student clothing, and it combines China's now famous facial recognition software to ensure that students arrive to school. And and because the the chip detects when where they're at and when they get onto school grounds, works with the computer so that apparently... It'll automatically flag them if the wrong person is like wearing like. So I guess if you're wearing your friend's jacket, you walk in, it'll flag that. Yeah, because, you know, that person doesn't match up to, you know. You, which is interesting. I wonder what happens if it's like identical twins. Right. Mm, that would be a, an edge. Like case. they both wear the jacket. That would actually be pretty interesting just to try that just to see. Like, if it can differentiate. Because, you know, identical twins, in theory, would have some subtle differences. Like, super subtle. Yeah. So, I'm wondering if a computer could pick out those extremely subtle differences or not. Probably Maybe not. if it had been trained enough with identical twins. Well, that's that's one thing. But there's not enough of those people for it to matter anyway, probably. <laughs> um, so, it, it, notif- it, can, it can notify teachers when they fall asleep. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just to me this is terrifying, and yeah. I hope it never comes to the West. But I know that the Western governments would love to be like China. So yeah, well, not even Western governments, but I mean, you know, this kind of stuff will inevitably come to American businesses, man. Well, there's already some businesses that want to chip employees. Yeah, yeah. I mean, forget about like taking a uh, an extra two minutes on your break if you're you know you're gonna be digitally chained to your freaking cubicle man like this stuff is terrifying and it's it should not be allowed uh, how do you how do you prevent stuff like this from happening though you know elect people that'll pass privacy laws that'll just completely squash yeah. it that'll never happen so <laughs> I I have more faith than you do, my friend. Ugh, it won't ever happen, man. It just it won't. I, it won't. I don't know. I I really would like to have. Uh, I don't know. I'd really like to have privacy laws in 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 full effect, and and that punished uh, companies that engage with with this kind of uh, you know with any company that does this kind of stuff. Like if it's especially if it's a foreign company. But, you know, I'm a weirdo, so what do I know? Yeah. I, don't know. I, I saw this news story, and I was just like, oh, I have to send this to Gardner. But, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, honestly, yeah. you know, I'm not really surprised, and I don't think there's going to be much backlash in China because, you know, China has the whole, like, ha said, like, ha-ha-ha-ha. <laughs> no, but China has this whole ordeal where, you know, they indoctrinate from the very beginning. You know, most, eh, I would say most, not all, but most Asian cultures, they tend to have like a, a group think over an individual think to begin with yeah. due to the, the much longer history. And that's just the way they've been. So why change it? I don't blame them. If it works, it works. 
The problem with China, though, and other, you know, lovely communist, well, not communist, but authoritarian regimes is, you know, they indoctrinate early on in school. Yeah. You know, they, they do still teach communism in China, a Chinese form of communism, which is basically just the government is always right sort of type ordeal. Right. And so I don't foresee anyone really being bothered by this because they just, you know, it's an accepted way of life. And yeah. for the most part, Chinese people are fairly free to an extent. As long as they don't go against the government. Right. <laughs> you go against the government, you just disappear. But hey. Right. Whatever. You know, there's this thing where like, you know, circus elephants would be shackled with uh, with chains that they couldn't break, you know, as, as a young elephant. And uh, once they learned that they couldn't break their shackles, they would be the they'd, the chains would be replaced with rope, which they probably could break pretty effortlessly. They don't hmm. they don't try to escape because they don't think that they can break their shackles, even when they're fully grown adults and only rope is being used. They learned when they were young that they can't break the metal chain. And that's well. what matters. And I'm not saying that human beings are elephants, but I'm saying that kids are elephants. Well, yeah, sure. But, you know, it's also the whole thing. You know, if everyone else does it, you know, you don't want to be a social outcast. Right. You know, you need more than one person to do it. So one person won't do it. So others might feel the same way. There's a whole list of, like, reasons why, you know, governments are able to do some of the things that they do that they really shouldn't be able to do. Um it's just sad. I, I, I mean, and realistically, this is not really that big of a deal. Like, you know, you're making sure kids go to school, which is debatable as to whether or not that's actually helpful or not. But, you know, yeah, it's 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 just creepy, right? Well, like you're just you can spy on them at any time. And also, too, you know, that means you have to trust the system because, you know, one, the system has to be secure because otherwise you can just track all the students. Because yeah. that's what's going to end up happening. Or what if someone hacks the microchips? Because obviously those microchips are wireless. Right. Well, the thing about the thing about this too is that like what happens when they take all the data about you know these kids that they've collected, and then they like uh, in, implement the social uh, credit score thing that they that they were talking about last year. And oh, they that, use... that's already being pushed out, man. Is it really? Well, the fact that like mm -hmm. they could take this data and like and be like, oh, this kid didn't go to class four times in a year, so lower his social cre credit score. Or like, yeah. the, or they like start like mandatory, like you have to get a microchip in your hand, and uh, and then and then that's how you do your social credit credit score thing. I mean, dude, if they're putting it in kids' clothes. It's it's just one step away from like a implant. It, yeah. Ugh. Well, it's not just that. I mean, think of it from another way. So with their social score, people who game a lot get really negative social scores. Yeah. So if you're like a kid and you get out of school, regardless of what your grades are, by the way, you could have like the greatest grades ever. But if you visit like an arcade or a, a game center a lot, which, you know, is pretty popular in most Asian cultures still. Which right. Is, in a way, I think it's kind of cool. Like, I wish we still had arcades. Arcades were awesome. We don't have them anymore, and it disappoints me. Um, but, you know, you go to go to the arcade or, like, you know, a, uh, one of those gaming centers, you know, like, rent a computer, basically. Just rent the little space. Well, that'll they'll know you're there, and that'll count against you. Yeah. You know, going to certain, you know, places and, like, certain streets, you know, and all this other stuff, you know, they'll know where you are, and they can just build an algorithm that just shapes your score purely based on the way you walk or wh rather where you walk right? and where you go and how much time you spend there and so on and so on and so on. I'm like, that's ridiculous. And you know, that affects you for your whole life. I mean, I cannot imagine what it would be like, honestly speaking, like 20 years from now, if China just keeps going down this path, what it's going to be like for a kid to grow up there because every Ugh. single action they do is going to affect them at every single level for the rest of their life. Yeah. That's a lot of pressure. Oh yeah. That would I yeah. That's why I don't have kids. I just feel like that's where we're headed anyway now. 
Uh, probably. I would not be surprised. Personally, would not be surprised. <sighs> I don't know. But yeah, this China microchipping uniforms and stuff is crazy. Uh, they've only done it on 10 schools, so it's just in a trial run. Um, but I don't see why it would fail. Uh, you know. Yeah. I it this it's so sad. Like this is just I mean, I hate the slippery slope argument. Like I hear it all the time, but this really is like the slippery slope. Like this I is I don't know why you would hate that slope of uh, the argument. Because it's a good argument. It's not a good argument. For most it sure things it's not a good, a good argument. argument. It's a good argument for everything. Cuz <laughs> once something has become accepted, you just keep going. That's why you should never accept anything that violates one's freedoms or liberties. Nothing, regardless of what it is. It doesn't matter. I you should just keep trucking forward. I feel like it's awesome used freedoms. to overblow a lot of things. But Oh, that's great. Uh, then maybe we won't get those things then. <laughs> I don't care if it overblows them. I just care that the things don't happen. Unfortunately for me, the things keep happening and I just get sadder. But right. you know, maybe I'm just in the minority of things that matter. Well, like, like I said in users, my video example. from today, uh, privacy comes down to the lowest common denominator. And yeah, we really does, need to. Unfortunately, we... I don't think tinfoil hat me really counts. Although it should, because that would make everybody super secure and safe. Yeah, but if tinfoil <laughs> you counted, you'd just be even more paranoid. Because then people would be paying attention to you too much. Look, <laughs> it's a sacrifice I would be willing to make. If, you know, everything I wanted got implemented, because let me tell you, there would be no more Facebook or Google because they yeah. wouldn't be able to operate or do business. I mean, maybe they would. Maybe they'd find a way. There's always a way. Yeah. So, you know, because, you know, I, I'm fine with companies taking data from people. I've said this before. I'm personally fine with it. I won't do it, but I'm personally fine with it if, if that person knowingly agrees to what they're doing. Because most people, I don't think they actually know what they're giving up. Right. I really don't. And why would they when Facebook like presents them a 2,000-page license agreement You know, when they create their account? Right. And it changes all the time anyway. How would, how would a normal person keep up with that? Like, yeah, you just click here. We changed our license agreement. We just wanted to let you know. And you like open it up, and it's like 2,000 pages. Okay, where? Right. You know, so it's one of, it's one of those things like where you know it's kind of like, Eh, I just, I just rather not have any of that stuff. Not allowed to store any data, none whatsoever. Yeah, that'd save them a lot of money. In fairness, <laughs> true that. I mean, they wouldn't make any money, but I mean, I mean, you know, that's relevant. Yeah. What do you guys think about this story? Do you think uh, this is a slippery slope, and this is just, uh, uh, it's bound to come to the United States and the rest of the West? Uh, I want to know what you think, because uh, this is scary, and I don't like it, and it's sad, and it makes my heart hurt. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least, at least we agree on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let us know what you think. Uh, this will probably be on YouTube, so let us know in the comments, or on, uh, or, or on, the, or on the forums, forum.heavyelement.io. Yeah, forums. The forums is the best place. The forums. I don't pay any attention to the YouTube comments. Yeah, the forums is great. I love the forums. What you just heard is a highlight from the Off Topical podcast. Listen to the full episode for free over at offtopical.net. <laughs>